It was called Mind, Health, and Body. Reset 2022. My health and body. Body. Ba -ba 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 body. <laughs> okay, let's get it together. Let's get it together. Get it together. <sighs> Reset 2022. My health and body. We're on step part two. I got it. I got it. You got it. I get it. You get it. I get it. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is, wherever you're at. This is Kay. I'm Kay. Welcome to my channel. My channel is called It's Just K1. And today we're going to be talking about the series that I'm doing for you. It's a three part series. We are up to part two, which is called Soul and Spirit. That's what we on, y'all. That's where we at. Let me do the disclaimer. I am not a doctor, lawyer, teacher, Indian chief, or a pastor. These are just my opinions. I don't want to get into a debate with you. I'm just trying to give some info. You can agree to disagree or disagree. It's all good. So, today, we're going to talk about soul and spirit as it pertains to the series I'm doing called Mind, Health, and Body. We're up to part two. Okay, I know that as soon as you hear the word soul or spirit, your mind automatically goes to where? The Bible, okay? What I'm not going to do is sit up here and have a debate with you about what the Bible says, what's the interpretation, what you think it is, what I think it is, and we're going to go back and forth. I'm just trying to give you a little bit of info, okay? I'm just trying to give you, the whole series is just to provide you with suggestions on how to enhance your daily life regarding your soul and spirit. That's what this part is, part two. On a light dive, for me to go into all the Bible and breaking it down, what the Bible says and what it means, I can quote you some scripture that's on the light level. But to take deep dives, we would be breaking it apart. I'm not getting ready to do that. I'm not, I'm not well versed in that. I know a few verses. I can look some up, but that's not what this is about. This is just on a light note. Okay. All right. So as far as your soul, I researched in the King James version of the Bible and the definition of soul, you know, I've got, you know, I got my notes y'all. I take these off. The definition of soul is the, well, they gave a little introduction to it the definition of soul the human soul is part of a person that is not physical it is part of every human being that lasts eternally after the body has experienced death okay in genesis 35 18 it describes the death of rachel saying she named her son as her soul was departing. From this, we know that the soul is different from the body and that it continues to live after physical death. Matthew eleven twenty nine tells us we can turn to Jesus Christ and find rest for your soul. Okay. Genesis 2, 17, Jehovah God formed man from dust of the ground and breath it breath it breathe it breathe it into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul all right okay so that's my, that's my soul okay so let's go to spirit spirit as far i looked up some information and research in the new testament king james our spirit was created by god so that we can contact and receive him John 4, 24, God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truthfulness. 1 John 4 and 6, we are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth not us. Hereby we know the spirit. All right? All right, all right, all right. And then I got to... 
Boy, it was another part to that. Know about the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Ephesians 4 and 23, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Okay? So, so with that said, let's talk about the soul. What is good for your soul? Is it chicken soup? Is it soul music? Is it a big giant slice of chocolate cake? Is that good for your soul? I don't know. What's good for your soul is a healthy purge. Let go of emotionally, physically, and spiritually anything that no longer that is of no longer of value to you. What will be left is people or things that make you feel happiest, loved, and supported. Deep breathing releases toxins, increases muscle, and enhances your immune system. Spend time in nature. Now this is, we, we under soul now, we under soul. Keep up, we under soul. Spend time in nature. Get outside. Every five to 20 minutes of sunlight helps enriches your soul of being outside. Eat real food, not processed. You know what real food is and you know what processed food is. You know, come on now, come on. Exercise, we talked about that last week. Exercise. And just to bring up the part about exercise, exercise, and I won't say diet, but meal plan. I've been told this by two people and it's so true. Even if you do the exercise and you have the good meal plan of what you're supposed to be doing, if this ain't in it, you got to have the mindset. If you just in there mosey and bopping and bopping and you working out and you eating the right, but your mindset is not, you know, I have a goal. I'm trying to get to it. I'm trying to push through. It's nothing going to happen. You're just going to be at a standstill. Perfect example. I used to take an aqua aerobics class. I took an aqua aerobics class and um, some of the days I didn't feel like going. It was cold outside. When I got there, you know, the pool was cold as hell. Of course, the pool's always cold as hell. And I went to the Matson Rec Center. And some of the days I did not want to get in that water. I got in the water. We got in the water. We started doing the exercise. And some of the days I was just like, I, my mind wasn't in it. My mind was somewhere else, probably at home under the covers, watching TV. I don't know, watching soul food or something. I don't know at home. And she was just up there doing the exercise. And I was doing them. My body was doing them. But my mind was not there. My mind was somewhere else. So it didn't even benefit me. It was just like a waste of time going up there. You got to get your mind in the game. Okay. Also, spend time with people who make you happy, that will support you, not judge you. And this is especially important. Spend time with people that aren't yes men. Have friends or family, well, probably, I mean, you probably your best friends or whatever, your inner circle, that will check you, but will check you with love. You know, sometimes we need to be checked. Be checked with love. Tough love. They may need to check you. So you need to receive it, go back. Reaccess. All right. Read inspiring books like the Bible or whatever spiritual literature that you read. Daily affirmations. I've heard they help tremendously. Keep a journal. Volunteer. There's tons of things out here you can volunteer for. Tons. All right. So that's for your soul. That's for your soul. And we 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 will. Be Hello, hello, hello. All right, all right, all right. We are back. It's just K here. And it's just K1. And I wanted to make a correction on one of the scriptures that I gave you all. It was not Genesis 2.17. It was Genesis 2.7. You know, I read, I transposed. It was 2.7. Anyway, we're back to talk about spirit and soul, a soul and spirit. We talked about the soul already, and now we're up to talk about spirit. This is a three-part series um, <clears throat> that I talked to you about earlier, a week ago. The, the series is called Reset 2022, and it's called My Health Body. And we're up to soul and spirit. So now we're going to talk about spirit, your spiritual health, your spiritual wellness. How to boost your spiritual health. Spiritual wealth acknowledges our search for a deeper meaning in life. When we are spiritually healthy, 
we feel more connected to a higher power and to others around us. Spiritual readings like the Bible or whatever your spiritual literature is, practice gratitude, be open to signs from the universe. You will have more clarity when it comes to making everyday choices. Our actions become consistent to our beliefs and values. Let me read that again. Our actions will become consistent to our beliefs and values. Converse with God daily or whoever you praise to. Your higher power. So like I told you all, this was going to be light. I didn't want to take a deep dive because I don't have time for that. <laughs> but this was going to be light. It's basically to feed your soul, feed your spirit. But only you can do that work. In conclusion, we by no means live in a perfect world. So you are going to deal with conflict. You are going to deal with negative things from time to time. But if you get your soul and spirit locked in tight, you won't have to worry about nothing else. You will just, you'll go through it. You will go through it and learn through it and push through without a whole lot of problems. So get your soul and spirit together. Dig deeper for yourself. So you're going to have challenges. Yes, you're going to have cha challenges. You know, y'all know I'm trying to read my notes. Only you can increase your soul and spirit wellness. Only you can do that. Only you can do that work. It's not fake. It's not something you can come up with. Only you can do that. Also, you will have to lean on your faith. And believe me, in these times within the last three years, you will lean on your faith sooner or later. I don't care what you say. You will do it. I have. I mean, I'm sure a whole lot of people have. Anyway. Steps to that, you purge, reflect, manifest, use your wisdom, and tap into your spirituality, whatever that is. Repeat it. Repeat that over and over. You keep doing the same little, remember our, our brain likes repetition. Remember that from the first one. Anyway, you repeat that. You'll purge, you reflect, you'll manifest, you use your wisdom, you will tap into your spirituality. And you will repeat. Simple. So I thank you for joining me on this second part to my series, Reset 2022, Mind, Body, and Health. And next week, we will be speaking about money, money, money. And we're taking light dyes. We're taking light dyes. I appreciate it. If you like, comment, or subscribe below the name of my channel, it's, it's just K1. Don't forget the one. And I hope you're having a good weekend, a good time. Everything's positive. Staying safe and healthy. Hugging on your family. Loving on each other. And I thank you for joining me, for listening, for watching. But increase and enhance your soul and your spirit. Only you can do that. Only you. Nobody else. And I thank you. So have a great day. Please comment, like, and subscribe below to It's Just K1. From old peace. Stay healthy, y'all.